Welcome everyone to MTG Deck Masters. Today's video is going to be about the Manaless Dredge in Legacy. And it's going to be a tutorial video on how to win with this deck on turn 2. Yes, turn 2 with no mana whatsoever in the deck. That sounds fun. Well, let's jump right into it. So before checking out this video, uh, I highly recommend you watch my uh, deck tech video I posted um, a few days ago. So if you want to check that out before to get a grip of how the deck works, uh, what uh, every single individual card does, uh, I highly recommend checking it out before this video because uh, you're probably going to be confused if you don't know what Manaless Dredge is all about. So first of all, we'll draw our first seven cards. And of course, as I say in every video, I stack the first cards, uh, the first seven cards of the deck and um, a few cards right beneath them to make sure I win and um, I don't fizzle on camera. So let's just look at our opening hand. So we have a Stinkweed Imp, Golgari Grave Troll, Street Wraith, Bridge from Below, Street Wraith again, and uh, Phantasmagorian, Cabal Therapy. So this is of course a very powerful hand and since we're playing Legacy Manalus Dredge we will let the opponent begin because we want to be on the draw. So the opponent begins and um, we will draw our card. Dread Return. Alright. And for those of you who may say um, if you play this deck and you'd ra much rather be on the draw the opponent is just going to let you on the play. But game one they don't know what they're playing against and 99% of the time people choose to be on the play, which means you're, you're playing first. So you're going to be on the draw all the time. Even if you win a die roll, you can choose to be on the draw. So that's what we're going to do every single game. So now we have eight cards in our hand. Dread Return. Uh, you return a creature from the battlefield, uh, from your graveyard to the battlefield. Flash it back, sacrifice three creatures. Dread, street Wraith, a cycler for two life. Stinkweed Imp, Dredge 5. Golgari Grave Troll, Dredge 6. And it can be a big creature. Uh, bridge from below, whenever a non-token creature is put into our graveyard from the battlefield, we put a 2-2 zombie into play. But if one of our opponent's creatures uh, die, we get to exile it, which is a huge drawback. Phantasmagorian, 7 mana, 6-6. Six, six. And uh, we can discard 3 cards to return it from our graveyard to our hand. Cabal Therapy, uh, we can name a card and our opponent discards all the cards with that name in their hand. We can flash it back by sacrificing a creature. So that's uh, what the card cards in our hand do. So uh, now we'll go to our cleanup phase, which is the discard phase. Uh, we'll discard Phantasmagorian. So now we'll pass the turn to the opponent. And what we will do is we're going to have to wait until the opponent's second main phase. And we're going to activate Phantasmagorian by discarding three cards, which is the cost. So we're going to discard... Stinkweed Imp, Golgari, Grave Troll, and uh, Bridge from Below. But in response to the ability on the stack that says uh, Return Phantasmagorian to your, from your graveyard to your hand, we're going to discard three more cards to activate it once again in response. So we are going to discard Cabal Therapy, Street Wraith, and Dread Return. Because we want to keep a Street Wraith in our hand. So Phantasmagorian goes back to our hand. And now... We will cycle Street Wraith by paying 2 life. But we are not going to draw a card. We are going to replace the draw effect with Golgari Grave Troll. So we are going to dredge 6, so mill 6 cards. Bell Straight Spy, Bridge from Below, Narcomiba, and Bridge from Below. So Golgari Grave Troll goes back into our hand. But now Narcomiba triggers. So it's a 1 1 flying that when it is put into our graveyard from the battlefield, uh, from our library, we can put it directly onto the battlefield. So that's what we are going to do. So we get a free 1-1 one, one flying. So you might ask, uh, how is this powerful? How are we going to win next turn? But just wait, just wait, you'll see. So the other cards we milled are Balustrade Spy. It's a 4 mana 2-3 flyer. And when it enters the battlefield, we reveal cards from the top of our library until we find a land, which we will never because you don't play any lands in the deck. And put all the cards in our graveyard and put the land into our hand. But we're not going to put a land into our hand because we don't play any. So we're basically going to mill our entire, entire library. 
and we have two more bridges from below which uh, the triggers actually stack on this card so we're gonna make multiple zombies okay so now let's go into our turn during our upkeep we're gonna do nothing and then in our draw step we're gonna bring back stink we didn't uh, bring back we're going to dredge it so we're going to mail five cards one two three four five okay so nothing uh particular except narc amoeba so we're going to bring back stink with him into our hand and now um i guess we can activate phantasmagorian by discarding these three and now what we will do is we're going to flash back cabal therapy from our graveyard by sacrificing a narc amoeba and we're going to name uh force of will so um we're just going to make sure our opponent doesn't have a counter for all the shenanigans we're going to do. Um, so we'll flash it back by sacrificing Narc Amoeba. And we'll put a zombie token. And uh, I just realized I forgot the zombie token. So we'll use a card like this. Just, ah, it's all dusty. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. So let's just use this card. This is a zombie. So since we have one, two, three bridges from below, we're going to make three two two zombies directly into play so our planet is going to reveal their hand we're going to discard all their force of will and uh, we're going to have three two two zombies for free okay but now what do we do um now what do we do what do you mean we are going to flashback dread return by sacrificing narc amoeba and uh we're not Exile and Narc Amoeba, just sacrificing it. Um, sacrificing Narc Amoeba and two of the 2-2 two, two zombies. So Dread Return. We are going to return Balustrade Spy. What does Balustrade Spy do? It mills our entire deck. So we're going to mill our entire deck until we find a land. And we'll never find one. So one, two, three, four. Oh, I'm taking it back backwards. So I'll just slowly reveal the entire deck and as you'll see there are no lands whatsoever so all of that goes right into our graveyard and we're gonna do some pretty fun stuff with that so next we are going to do all of our triggers so this is our graveyard we're going to return the two narc amoebas that were just milled uh, and since Narc Amoebas came back, the prized amalgams are going to trigger and we'll return them at the end of our turn. So we'll have four prized amalgams coming at the end of the turn. That's it for prized amalgams. And now what we're... Oh, I forgot. We had... Um, I sacrificed the Narc Amoeba earlier, so we, we made three more zombies. So now what we are going to do is... We are going to um, take our, um, where, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it, can I find it, can I find it, Cabal Therapy. So we're going to, we're going to take Cabal Therapy, flash it back by sacrificing an Arc Amoeba. We're going to make four more zombies since we have the four bridge from below in the graveyard. So now we are up to eight zombies. Eight zombies. So we're going to name whatever other card the, our opponent has in hand just to make sure they're not winning the game. And we are going to um, make some more zombies. And now we're going to flash back Dread Return again by sacrificing these two cards and this zombie. So we're going to make eight more zombies. Now we're up to 15 zombies. Those go to the graveyard. Dread Return is exiled. And we're going to bring back Flayer of the Hatebound. So Flayer of the Hatebound is 6 mana for a 4-2 with Undying. It, when Flayer of the Hatebound or another creature enters the battlefield from your graveyard, that creature deals damage equal to its power to target creature or player. So we're bringing this back. We're dealing 4 damage to the opponent. Now we're going to sacrifice 3 zombies. 3 zombies. To Dread Return yet again. And this time we're going to bring back Golgari Grave Troll. So Golgari Grave Troll is a 5 mana 
creature 0 0 with dredge 6, but it enters the battlefield with a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it for each creature card in your graveyard. And you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, uh, 21, uh, I don't even know, they're all mixed up, so I I don't count right, but we have a lot more than 20, we'll just count, just for fun. So um, let's count the creatures we have in our graveyard. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. So we have 41 creatures in the graveyard. Golgari Grave Troll comes into play with 41 plus 1 plus 1 counters. So player of the Hatebound triggers and it deals 41 damage right to the opponent. So that was it. This is it for a turn 2 win with Legacy Manaless Dredge. Uh, this deck is very weird and it can catch a lot of opponents off guard. And this is one of the many examples where this deck just goes off and people just don't even understand what's going on. So I hope you enjoyed the video for today. Um, it's a very complicated combo, especially when you don't even know if you're gonna fizzle. So I hope you enjoyed and we will see you in the next video very soon. I have a legacy dredge deck tech and tutorial coming on the version with lands in it. So if that interests you, you might want to stay tuned. So I hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time.